the verse I've been meditating on yesterday and again this morning is from Micah chapter 6 verse 8 and it says he has shown you O man what is good and what does the Lord require of you but to do justice to love kindness and to walk humbly with your God now have you ever heard of a healthy shame message before I explain that, did you know that shame is a good emotion? Shame is designed into us to tell us when we're doing something wrong. It is a good emotion when we've just done something wrong and we feel ashamed about it. That's a very good emotion. So, let's just say you just yelled at somebody and you told them off and you said something to them that was unkind maybe it wasn't even true but you were upset and so you let them have it that person is going to go away from that encounter with such a feeling of their own uh, pain attachment pain feeling bad about themselves because of the way you talk to them and let's just say you go home and and you suddenly feel ashamed you calm down and you feel ashamed. That's a good emotion. What that shame does is it makes you realize you've hurt that person. You've been mean to them. You've been unkind. And so you call them up or you say, look, would you meet me? I, I need to talk to you. And you meet with them and you say, I am so ashamed of how I talked to you. That was so wrong. I'm so sorry. And now that person goes away feeling thankful that this was worked out and that you didn't really feel those things about them. When God gives us a shame message, it's called a healthy shame message. There is a way to tell somebody they've done something wrong that is not healthy. We might see they did something wrong and the first thing we do is go on social media and tell everybody, guess what this person did? That's not a healthy way of communicating to somebody that they did something wrong. Jesus said, if your brother sins against you, go and show him his fault just between the two of you. See, that's a healthy shame message. You take the person aside where nobody else is listening or watching and in private without videoing it, you just tell them, look, I see this thing going on in your life and I'd really like to help you with it. I know what it's like to struggle with things like that. Could we work on it so that we, we can help each other? That's a healthy shame message. It's the one Jesus said to do. When Jesus or when God communicates to us that we're doing something we should be ashamed of, he doesn't want us living with shame. He wants us to be free from shame. So you have to feel shame in order to come to repentance so you can be free of that shame. You need to feel the guilt of your sin in order for you to come to repentance so you are, are guiltless before God. Those are good things to feel because they bring us to repentance. And when we come to repentance and we confess our sins to God, God is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to purify us from all unrighteousness. Now, that long introduction is just to say that in Micah 6 verse 8, God is giving his people a healthy shame message. He's telling them some things that they're doing wrong. He's pleading with them. He's reminding them of how he has always tried to get them back when they're doing something wrong. And so in the context that he's giving them a healthy shame message, he says, he has shown you, O oh man, what is good. In other words, a healthy shame message is, you already know what is the right thing to do. Admit it. He's already shown you, O oh man, what is good what is morally excellent. And here are the three things that summarize everything. It is to do justice. To do whatever is the just thing to do. No favoritism, no partiality, no slander, no gossip, no false witnessing against people, because that's not just. Instead, you do what is the just thing to do. 
You treat everybody by a, a fair measure. The same measure of mercy you use on yourself is the measure you use on everyone else. You do what is just. You see a friend harming an enemy and you do what is just and confront your friend, not the enemy. You do what is just. And you love kindness. You love it. You want to do what is kind to people. You know that your Father in His kindness leads people to repentance. And so you look at ways that, that ha you have to deal with things, but you love kindness. You love doing things in kindness. Even when you need to confront a brother who is sinning, you love to do it in a way that is kind. You absolutely love kindness. And that's always the thing you want to do, even when, when doing justice requires you to give a healthy shame message to somebody. You love doing it in the kindest way that you can imagine. And then, walk humbly with your God. Humbly. In other words, He's God and I'm not. His word is true. My word, if I'm contradicting His word, I'm always wrong. If I have thoughts in my flesh, my fleshly mind, that contradict the word of God, I'm always wrong. And so I walk humbly with my God. I treat Him like He is God. He is morally excellent. He alone is good. And so we walk humbly with Him because we don't always know what is the right thing to do. We don't always know what is just, especially when our heartstrings are being pulled because it's a family member or a friend who's doing the wrong thing. And so we have to walk humbly with our God and say, God, I'm struggling with this. I think I know the right thing to do, but but I love this person and I'm afraid of losing them. And we process that and we consider how we're treating others who are maybe the recipients of gossip and slander from loved ones. And we look at it and we say, God, I want to do what is kind. I want to be kind to everyone, but according to justice. And I want to walk humbly with you because I know you have a way to get me through this. What I'm presenting to you today is always first, get in the Word of God, because this is an example of how God speaks to us through His Word. I'm going through some stuff right now where this is exactly what I needed to be reminded about. Even when God is giving a healthy shame message to people around me, it is my place to do justice, to love kindness, and to walk humbly with my God. And I can do that no matter what anyone else does. And so the lesson for me today is, I'm, I'm watching for whoever God brings into my life. It doesn't matter who they are, what they've done to me, how it comes. I can do what is just. I can love kindness while I'm relating to that situation. And I can walk humbly with my God and let Him lead me through it. And I encourage you that that will work for you as well if you will trust God with it and get in the Word and see what He adds to this with your own time with Him. Let the Word of Christ dwell in you richly, and you will know how to relate to everyone in a way that is like Jesus.